Dej indeed. Everything was going great till you all got here. What have you done to me? Check it out. Everybody out! Everybody out! Just kidding, don't leave. Surely the second time it'll work, right? Surely the second time around. Alright, this time we're not taking Cinderella, we're just picking stats. We're gonna get better shops. It's gonna be fine. We'll survive the early game without seven health. That said, this is pretty crap. Um, I'll take the chicken. Wait, NF trees? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Meaty elbow. Hmm. Chris guns. Chris Gunn sounds like a Resident Evil character. Um, I guess our best chance to win is Sure Shot. Against Skip, I like Familiar. Um, in a world where I wasn't playing APOC, I would pick Familiar. However, Familiar loses a lot of its... Uh, a lot of its shine to me on APOC. I also think if there wasn't a chicken, I might have gone familiar. Like, I definitely would have picked familiar over the mouse. But I like the flexibility the chicken affords. Nice. Chicken always a good level 2 pick as we can roll to better value units at level 3 or higher if we eat some losses. Familiar is still good stats when you get it early. Yeah, I still like it. I would have locked Mem, I think. Yeah, that could have been it. If I sold Chicken, I could get two of these things. And just continue to be up on characters, which I might do. Not my favorite characters in general, but it's fine. No, how dare you? At least you didn't get fork. This way? Shit. I know I said it wasn't going to do that, but I think this is pretty relevant. I can also hit this baby root. I don't mind baby root here. Definitely rather have it on the tree. Polywog is not happening. Just accept that. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. Woggle always procs. If I locked that mem, I would have kept Woggle around for sure. I would have thirsted Woggle right into my own grave. Kind of some awkward hits here. Kill the egg! Kill the egg! Would I rather have Sure Shot or... I think I'd rather have Sure Shot. I mean, um, this than Sure Shot.
can also just not run it. This is also fine. This is a much more formidable board than our last one. <laughs> that was the hope, Wolf. That was absolutely the hope. Oh man, I just realized I forgot to ask Horse how a stream was. I don't know if you're still Horse, or if you're still if you're still Horse. I don't know if you're still here, Horse, but if you are, how's your stream? If not, I hope into the universe that it was well. Oh man. Taking a beating here. A tragic tale in four emotes. <laughs> we also got out FA and Cat are expected losses out of the way instead of uh, at four for more HP. True. Yeah, that's very nice. I'd rather have experience. I'm not using any of this. I'm tired of losing health. Game wants you to triple black cat really bad. It always does. It's the only treasure I'm offered. It's like, yeah, you can have your treasure, but you have to ruin your board. What did Fate? We haven't seen Fates yet, have we? We got a lot of high rolling people in this lobby. Oh God! I don't know what to do about this. I mean, I guess I'm getting the upgraded characters out of the way, which is really nice. But these people are just too strong. We got Cookbook Fates. Skip his toast. Skip must have not played if they lost that much health. Not good enough to resist tripling Black Cat most times. It's hard to resist. Just like that's hard to resist. Spinning Wheel is another chance at XP, which is pretty huge. But Runestones is really good, especially with this pair of fours. I don't think I want to be spending money on greedies, though. I'm just going to go spinning wheel here. I'm going to spend money on this greedy because it improves my board, but. Almost always a bait, I feel like. Black Cat, Dusa, and Court Wizard usually baits. Dagger's actually a good option with this fight, guaranteed. Yeah, but Dagger helps me, like. I mean, I would keep it one more fight, but I don't think the. The plus two attack at level five is enough to, like, give up on the extra gold when I'm almost exclusively trying to find experience right now. I think of Dagger more as a combat spell where if, like, I really, really need to win the next fight. Or it's, like, strong early on. But I think this late and against a guaranteed win next fight, I don't really need it. I'm kind of hoping that they were here and they just, like, did really bad so I can get some gold. Oh, yeah, awesome. I shouldn't say they did really bad. That's pretty mean. I'm hoping that they participated in the game so that I can get some value. I need to keep improving the board and make sure I don't die. I'm 2 XP up, which is pretty sweet. Oh my god, really? Hmm. You know what? Slippers would be really good here.
Runestones is pretty sick. I will take Runestones. How many XP ahead of Lobby? 5.0 with 22 HP seems fine. Robin Wood's like the most stabilizing card in the entire game by itself. Yeah, finding a Robin Wood here was pretty huge. I'm very happy about that. It's unfortunate. I'm really hoping the trigger goes to the Sporko, but I think it goes to Wicked Witch. For the term house shoes, but that's just me. House shoe cat. Lowest level character, yes. Also, skill theory, first time chatter. Thank you for being here, I really appreciate it. Instead of slippers. I figured, but I couldn't resist. <laughs> Freaking money. They picked Krampus Slay, so they pretty much guaranteed their own death. That's a charge you take when you feel like never winning a fight again. I'll take a level 5. I know I said I wasn't going to spend money on Greedy, but like, this is pretty, pretty important. I would like to lock an XP. I think I'm strong enough to beat these boards. Okay, now Sporko gets the buff. That's good. Four point two with a paw seems pretty strong. I'm hoping we get some good greedy value. I need the extra gold to find care, uh, find XP, but I'm two XP up, which is safe. It's usually like okay. And Skip is dead. Skip is like really unfortunate for Apoc. Looks like a Fate's also fi uh, five five point one. That Copium will never slay, poor dragon. I'm sorry to tell you. That's not what she does. It's a good one. Actually made this better. Alright, we got a lot of gold. There it is. This is how APOC games are supposed to look. This is a little awkward. But it's not terrible. I could just grab these two sirens and go full slay or full scam. I think I'll do that for now. It's pretty sweet. Staff. Um, I could grab this other... I mean, we're not Slay. I don't need P. Even though I have the Yorm, I don't have any of the other infrastructure. It's tempting, but nah. Um, when I said full Slay, I meant full Scam. No Lordy, no Bear Stay, <laughs> no Board Hail <house> Sue. <laughs> Yorm 1, yeah. I hate the sirens. P does not need to be one. I want P to die. Oh, I forgot I'm not running Echo Wood anymore. Um, I wanted P to die and then go to... Or like give the Echo Wood stats, but I'm not running it, so I think it's fine. I might actually just not run P at all. Let's see, not using Paw. That's what I should have done. I kind of forgot about Paw. I got all excited about a full board of stuff. The sirens are definitely, like, not the best thing I could be doing here, but I do not want to get greedy and, like, not have a board. And the sirens give me a board instantly. Hmm. I want bigger hits here. 
like this. And I think we're done with P and Yorm. Yeah, P and Yorm feels like bait. He'll hang on to Echo, though. And we can do this. I'll actually remember to do this this time. Yorm Slaying also gives Echo stats more HP to it. Yeah, but it has to it has to survive the Slay, right? Not that I have a huge doubt that a, a Yorm this early would not Slay, but... I think I'm actually going to run Siren first here. Run Siren in one, yeah. We got there. Ah. All right, puts it at exactly half. Nice. The more damage I can do with this pumpkin, the better. I want to close this lobby down as fast as possible. Our fates is also at six. We've been at six as long as I have. I'd like another, like, build definer. I wouldn't hate Burning Tree to be trees. Another pumpkin would be nice. Boomy's tempting for treasure. Are you in the P is broken or not camp? Let me... let me think on that a second. I'll take a second one of these. Oh, maybe a ditch Echo and just grab It Was All a Dream. But Echo's real good. Oh, I hate that. I want that so bad. You know what? Fuck it. This will help. These are bad. These are very bad. Um, I guess Jax. Um, I don't... I don't think... Yeah, this will help. <laughs> um... I don't think P is broken. She requires pretty specific infrastructure to really do a whole lot. I think she's really good, but I think level six characters should be really good. I think I take Sick and Boom Hilda and maybe pivot Evil Dragon. Let's see what treasure we get. I think that would maybe help inform where this goes. This tree board is scary, but. Normally I'd be like, oh no, I can't be trees because they already have them all, but now that doesn't mean anything anymore. That surviving was very, very good. I think we still lose. Yeah, just barely. Evils is just like not the best thing to be doing. I mean, I guess I'm doing it now. But... It's not my ideal play here. It's a little weird. I'd like to find something other than what I have here. I can get a level 5 treasure really quick, but I don't know if I want to replace staff yet. If we're fighting a big trees board, I'm just going to grab this and roll with it for now. Evil sucks, buys more Onis. <laughs> Evil's not where I want to end up, but yeah, with Mimic Sword, I feel like okay about this. If I had my choice of build in the endgame, it would not be evil, but we're here. We're going to get Murder Cupid. He fell right into my trap. He gave me more evils.
GG Chris Guns. Huh. Reduplicator only summoning one more big peg feels wrong somehow. Like, it should fill the whole board. Yeah. I feel like it should double your first summoning effect. I guess guns don't kill people. People kill guns. Hey. <laughs> Credit roll. Um, I'm real, real torn here. There's still time. I mean, we're the tree hero. Poorly timed big pigs. Oh, that was good. Just enough. Goodbye, Moonball Fork. We're against trees again. This is very tricky. This has maybe become less tricky. It feels stupid that Ivory Owl is my best bet here, but this is a lot of stats, and my board's pretty good. Yeah, I think we're okay here. Maybe I full tree it. Sell so Boomy and Herc. Oops. I'll think on this for a second. I didn't need to do that. <laughs> that was an impulse. An impulse play. 8 of 10 Whoop Burgers would agree that Jax is the tree hero. <laughs> I mean, I think I beat these trees. Big time. Other two would say dwarves. <laughs> oh no, I forgot to emote. I'll knighthood this burn beard and then we're trees. I'm going to leave murder cupid. To hit like backline weavers and stuff. Things are not good when your tree board is missing ash. I've got ash. Oh, their tree board. Yeah. Yeah, that's not that's not great. Things are not good when your tree board is missing uh staff, really. Sure, you'll totally cast that knighthood. Yeah, I won't forget and roll it away at all. Or die. There's totally a next turn. Maybe I just... Maybe I just trees it. I'm making a split final decision here. It's weird. I think it's better than scamming. I was wrong. Wait. I was not wrong. I was maybe still wrong. But this is fine. Hmm. 
Seems good. Seems good. Oh, scammed him anyway. No way you're just going to win it here. <laughs> yeah, who would do that? Jax equals busted. Scientists are fuming at this man. Doctors hate him. Hate him. Doctors hate him. This was... This board is a portrait of my indecision. This board is everything that's wrong with my brain in 